How good is the Kershaw Skyline? The Kershaw Skyline is so good that even though there have been four price increases since I bought my first one, uh, it is still in good value. How good is the Kershaw Skyline? Uh, even though it does not have any fancy bearing pivot or uh, assist, it flips just as well as many of my flippers that are you know customs or hundreds of dollars more. Um, how good is the Kershaw Skyline? It runs uh, Sandvik 14C28N, um, which is probably the nicest and most advanced non-powder metallurgy steel available in cutlery. And um, I've peeled apples, I've sliced grapes, I've cut wood, I've whittled, I've done uh, open boxes, I've done recycling and, and cardboard processing, and it is still in great shape. How good a value is the Kershaw Skyline? Um, it is uh, a knife that has a really great pocket clip, a really great flipper tab, and a really great blade shape to go along with its very versatile handle. Fits well in the regular grip, forward grip, fits good in the reverse grip. Um, this knife is just a great design and still has the uh, asymmetric liner, which is a brilliant innovation. Um, this is a Tommy Lucas design, he's one of the in-house designers at Kai. And however many years after it's released, it is still probably my favorite Kai product, including any and all of the ZT Lite knives. Um, if you are looking for a great knife and you can't order online or don't want to order online, if you are looking for a great knife and you want it to be under 50 bucks, then uh, just get the Skyline. This is a great knife. As you can see here, this is running the JG10, which is a uh, Blade HQ, HQ exclusive. They got a little bit of them in and out the door, sold out pretty quickly, right before uh, Black Friday. And I think they're going to have more for Black Friday. So when you get a chance, go on over to Blade HQ, tell them that I sent you, and uh, buy this knife. Uh, I have... I have a dozen knives, and I'm still glad I got I got one of these because it is great.